Hello everyone, I am Simanti and I am currently working as an ML engineer. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for implementing um, linear regression using standard libraries. Um, I have implemented it from scratch previously and people have been asking me why do we need to implement it from scratch. But definitely once understanding the basic concepts, link in description, and also implementing the algorithm from scratch, also link in description, would help you to get a clear grasp of the concepts and clear your fundamentals and definitely make it easy for you to implement any other future algorithms from scratch by yourself. But when there's a time crunch or when you're participating in, an, in a hackathon or a competition and there are multiple algorithms that you need to try out or you need to use, then it's a good idea to use the standard libraries. So I'll be showing you how you can use scikit-learn to implement the linear regression and to solve the problem. Also analyze the data and plot the graphs and everything um, using the scikit-learn and other libraries like matplotlib um, and, and pandas to read the data set. The next part might seem same as my last video, as I have, uh, I'll be talking about um, the data set and the plots, which are same as the video on implementing linear regression from scratch. If you've already seen that video, you can skip the next couple of minutes and go directly to the scikit-learn implementation. And then you can compare um, the two methods. I'll be using the same data set and the same plots and I'll be showing you how you can do the scikit-learn implementation. Yeah, if you can see this, this is the salary data set from Kaggle. I'll, I'll be sharing the link in description. Um, this data set is basically has like two columns. The target variable here is salary, which is dependent on years of experience. So years of experience would be the feature and salary would be the target. So some examples are like 1.1 years of experience has 39,000 salary. Uh, 1.3 has 46,000 and like different, different things. So we need to find a way, uh, we need to find how salary is dependent on years of experience. At first glance, it doesn't look like that it's linear regression, but soon we'll know once we plot the data set. So as I've said, the first step always is to plot the points. Yeah, so now comes the problem statement. So if you can see, this is the problem statement. And here, uh, what it says is that Given a salary data set with years of experience and the corresponding salary, you have to use an ML model to predict the new salary of people based on some different years of experience. So first things first, first comes the imported libraries like NumPy and Pandas and Matplotlib for plotting. So let's do that. SPD. These are the standard nomenclature that we use, matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So this is the first thing that we need to do, import all the libraries. So it might seem a little bit intimidating at first if you don't know NumPy and Pandas and matplotlib, but I'll be covering a video where I'll be teaching the, like, the basics of these three libraries that these three libraries are the only ones that you'll need in when you're starting out with ML. Um, so if you have a good grasp on these libraries, like the basic functions, whatever is used most 99% of the time. Um, so I'll be, I'll be making uh, videos for these. So please stay tuned. Great. Uh, now next comes the getting the data set into a pandas data frame. So this will help us in analyzing the data set better. So pd.read csv. So my data set is basically inside a data folder. You can also do that dot CSV. Yeah. So you can just download the data set from the Kaggle and then you can simply get the data set out. So, I mean, store it in a particular folder where you'll be doing all your projects and all. So the next thing is that what is X? X would be DS. Um, I think the name was years experience. years experience dot values and y would be salary dot values great so if you want to see what does x look like and what does y look like great so we have x and y currently so now the next step is to plot these points 
So this is a very important step whether to know which algorithm to use. So if I am plotting this point, if you see here, you can you would be able to see that like this is almost like a straight line. You can almost trace the straight line here through these points. So this is um this is what the data set looks like, and we can see that the best fit line will be a straight line. This does follow a straight line. It's not a circle, it's not any either kind of oval or anything, it's a straight line. Great. So now next comes normalizing this data set, which is very important. So how do we normalize the data set? Normalizing the data set means um, getting the mean. So np dot sum. Okay, sorry. One thing, this is just, this is still in the form of, um, this is still in the form of like pandas. Mostly we use NumPy array. It will make things much easier. So just make it into an array, np dot array y. Great. So now we have this. We have x and y in the form of NumPy arrays. Now comes the normalizing the data set. So mean x, x upon len x. Now next comes variance, finding the variance. Um, how, how do we find the variance? So np dot sum x minus mean. Uh, maybe we can keep the mean as mean x, mean value as mean x, and this would be np dot sum x minus mean value squared upon len x. The standard formula. Nothing much. So we have the mean, so we have the variance. Now we have to find the norm. How do we find the norm? X minus mean. X minus, so we have mean value, mean X. We have variance value, variance X. And we have here mean value upon variance value. So now we would have x norm. Great. So now we have x norm. So this is what x norm looks like. So if you now, if you do the plot x norm of y it's also a straight line so the best fit line is a straight line here so we know that linear regression is the way to go now comes the main part now we'll be using the scikit learn to implement the linear regression so first thing is if you do not have scikit learn installed so you need to install scikit learn using this i already have it installed so it's saying requirement already satisfied but if you have not installed it, then you have to install it. Um, next thing comes is, this is the scikit-learn documentation. So here, as you can see, I'm using the least squares method as I've discussed in like previous uh, basic concepts video. So here you will see the, this is what we'll use. It's a good idea sometimes to read up the documentation and implement the steps and see the text and try to implement it yourself. This really sets you up to become independent and implement the future algorithms from scratch or by using standard libraries by yourself. Okay, so now comes um, the main part. So what we'll do is from sklearn.linear model, as you saw there, import, linear regression next comes uh, let's just call our model reg regression dot fit so as you remember fit means uh, fitting the data set to this model so that we can use it for our next purposes okay so this is very important I think 
I missed this one. So you need to reshape your data. This is because like the this one can only the scikit learn can only take data in a particular uh, format of the array. And why I we don't need to reshape because y is already in the correct format. So let's just print out why I think we already have y. Yeah. So y is already in the correct format in a single array. But this x could have multiple features. So that is why we need to do the x in the form of minus one comma one because suppose it had multiple features then these would come next to next. So it has to be in the form of m, m being the number of data points cross n, n being the number of features. Now we can do this. Okay, uh, x norm equal to yeah, now this is working. So these errors, they help you to become better. You can search online, you can see what error is coming. And then actually this makes you um, know a lot of possibilities that can happen. So now we can just print out the score, great. So 95% um, score we have right now. Next comes the coefficient. So this is basically the uh, weight. And the next thing is the intercept or the bias, basically. And now you can do dot predict. Any, any kind of predict you want to do, maybe you can do x norm. So this is the predicted value that you would get. Now let's see how it's doing. So let's just bring it inside y predicted value. Now let's see how it's doing on the plot, plt, sorry, plt dot plot, x norm comma y, and plt dot plot, x norm comma y pred. Great, so now as you can see, the line is actually the decimate line here, since it satisfies our reg linear regression model perfectly. Yeah, so this way you know that you have done, you have solved it correct. Yeah, so I'll be uploading this notebook of mine to my GitHub repository, link in description again. Um, okay, great. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you. Stay tuned for new videos.